Mine, and welcome back to Planet Zoo and our marvelous modded map here in Redwood National Park, where um I think we're actually going to have a little bit of a problem with our new ducks, you guys. I I don't think that they're quite working the way that the mod is meant to. Uh, if you guys notice, our Harlequin duck is currently just floating in the air, kind of staring into the sky. He's not really moving much. I'm a little concerned. I'm really hoping that maybe he'll recover. Uh, I think he's actually injured, so we're trying to get a vet in here to take care of him. But unlike, unlike our glorious geese, it appears... <laughs> Look at this guy! Look at this guy! We've got floating ducks, levitating ducks, duck lovioso. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this isn't going to work the way I was hoping. Uh, I did try re-downloading the mod. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to have helped. So I'm not sure if they're just meant to be like this and, and you're meant to like go ahead and maybe, um, maybe just accept this and make deeper ponds. I'm gonna give myself a little bit of time to think about this. I am gonna give myself, you know, a little bit of time to think about this. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there he goes, just levitating across the ground there. Um, but we might not keep these ducks, even though I really, really want to because I think they're pretty awesome. Uh, we are gonna go ahead and see if maybe we can have a vet show up and possibly take care of them. Look at everybody, they're so excited about the fact that we have <laughs> That we have all of these wonderful, wonderful animals. Uh, I really do need the vet to, like, show up, though. And take care. Oh, why is Panda? Oh, Panda's hungry and expecting offspring. Offspring imminent? What the heck, Panda? I didn't even know that you were ready to lay some eggs. All right, guys. Well, let's go ahead and take care of this goose. And then um, we'll keep an eye on the duck situation. If, if, like, we can't get someone to come and heal this duck because they're injured... Maybe if we try again with fresh ducks, we'll have better luck. <gasps> and some goslings! Oh, how wonderful! We do have a little gosling. We have two little goslings now, you guys! Offspring are still imminent, so I wonder if we're going to have three little goslings. Three goslings! Still imminent? <gasps> how many babies are you going to hatch, Panda? I All four! Oh my gosh, so now there's four goslings in here. I'm waiting. Okay, so five! Oh my gosh! <laughs> So actually, Panda the Goose just had five goslings, which we will actually be naming after you guys. Oh good, and the vet did come for that, that duck. Okay, maybe we'll leave the levitating ducks for now. Um, I'm going to let myself have a little bit of time to think about that. But Panda has gone ahead, and she has actually had five little goslings. Oh my word, we're going to be just drowning in these geese pretty soon. Now it suddenly looks a little bit too small. Multiple animals have low welfare. Uh-oh. Uh oh, is it- why? Is it because we have so much stress? Oh, they're stressed and trying to hide? What? You guys were totally fine with everybody like staring at you just a second ago. Aw, oh, man! Alright, well how are we gonna make this work? How are we gonna make this work? Okay, let's see. Aw, oh, man! They were totally fine with people just like two seconds ago! Huh. Maybe it's because there's like too many geese in here now? Is that the case? There may be too many geese in here. And we have a lot of babies that we actually have to rename. Maybe the parents are just like agitated because they're a little worried about their young ones. But let's see, maybe there's like a key spot. Can you see like your animal welfare for stress? Because that would be really useful. Because if I could see like, oh, they're just a little stressed because of this or that. All right, welfare, really low. Darn, okay, so let's try actually- Oh, I know, let's tell people to be quiet! Maybe people are, like, being too noisy over here and that is stressing out the parents. So let's actually have everybody, like, shh! You silly people! We must respect our little geese! And, uh, here, we'll put down some- some signs. And we'll see if that helps. Alright. Maybe that will- will start helping us out a bit. So- Oh no, the animal welfare has already attracted- <laughs> Protesters! No! I'm working on it! I'm working on it! Alright, security coverage. We're getting we're getting good on the security coverage on this side. Alright, let's come in and we'll just kind of slide this back a little bit. Shh! Treat the geese with dignity! Be quiet! No feeding the geese! Alright, we'll see if that actually helps out. It does sound like people have started to quiet down a little bit. Um, is that gonna help out at all? No! Like, we were totally fine! We were completely and totally fine, and then all of a sudden my geese just get anxious. Oh, well. 
I suppose it does happen. All right, we're going to make one-way glass then. And we're going to go ahead and raise this up like so. And maybe once the goslings... Okay, that doesn't look as bad as I was worried it would. But maybe once the goslings get bigger, the adults won't be quite as stressed. All right, stress is still... Okay, stress is recovering now. Recovering. We're feeling a little better. We're feeling a little better. Okay, we'll, we'll see if they'll calm down and feel a little bit better this way. I don't know if they're going to notice all of those people. Okay, kind of stressed. Kind of stressed. Okay, stress is really high. What? No, come on, little geese. You can do it. Stress is going down. All right, I think their stress is actually going down. I hope it is. There we go. Look at all of our geese. It's so quiet over here. I'm so used to like when wherever geese hang out to be very, very noisy. But all right, we actually need to tag all of these geese. So I hope you guys are ready to put on some good boots and help jive in uh, and catch a bunch of goslings with me. So we got up to seven goslings tagged with flame. And now we need to carry on with naming the others. And the next one is actually going to be named Bay after Veronica Bailey. Or Bail a Bailer, pardon me. So we're gonna go ahead and name this little guy Bay. And he's number eight! So we now have eight little geese. Using your guys' comments from our previous videos, of course. And let me pull up the next comment. Oh, and we have little Mis uh, Misaki Moto... <laughs> Misaki Motoko. There we go. I knew I could get that eventually. So, oh, I'm so glad that you're enjoying these peaceful little adventures. It is nice just to kind of like relax and unwind in our park. And kind of take things at our own pace, building little gardens, taking care of all the animals. Uh, we're going to name this little guy Matoko. And he's going to be number nine. Alright, so we've got nine geese. Ten, eleven, twelve. So we, we're up to twelve geese in here, which is kind of amazing. And they are feeling better now that we changed it to a one-way fence. And the one-way fence doesn't actually look as bad as I thought it would. So I'm pretty happy with that. Alright! There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and now we're going to have, uh, oh, and Super Crazy Caterpillar, you asked, could I name one of the chipmunks Roach or Bean? I don't know why, but those names are just super cute for a chipmunk. All right, let me check if I have any unnamed chipmunks real quick. And if not, I hope you'll accept a gosling in exchange because Bean sounds like an adorable name for a gosling. All right, checking it out. Our chipmunks currently, we do not have any who can be named because they haven't had any babies for a little while. I'm not going to be too alarmed about that. Uh, but we can go ahead and we can rename this little female to Bean, which sounds so freaking cute. Is this, yeah, 10? Is that our 10th goose? See, this is why I need you guys around. Yes, 10th goose. As my little assistants to help me as interns here in our wonderful, wonderful facility. Because otherwise I'm going to end up <laughs> lost among the goslings. Look how cute they are. I love them. And next we have Maya from Maya Game Time. Welcome in as our 11th gosling. Holy cow, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of babies that suddenly we need to be chasing down. And then we have, dun 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 dun. And then, the chipmunk after the movie Enchanted. Oh, Foxtrot. I wish I knew that one. I can't remember that one. Enchanted was a pretty cute movie, too. Uh, but we'll go ahead and you know what? I'm going to name this one after you. This one's going to be Trot. And he is now... In fact, we'll name him Foxtrot because that sounds adorable. And he's going to be the 12th Canadian goose that has come to join the family. And also, it looks like our duck has actually... He's actually recovering from his illness. He's still a levitating duck. I'm still not exactly sure. Oh no, Tina, the Easter chipmunk's about to die of old age. They just do not live very long whatsoever. No, Tina! Okay, we'll check in on her in just a second. And then we're going to go ahead and re rename the two ducks really quickly. This one's actually going to be Frogger! Frogger, welcome! I hope you are excited because you literally have a comment that says, Can you put birds somewhere? Ta-da! You are now named after a bird! Perfect! And then we have our Mallard duck. He's the only one in his social group. I might consider uh, getting them, like, more, more ducks. But, I don't know. At the moment, at the moment, they trot. They trot. <laughs> 
Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about the levitating duck, so I need a little bit of time to consider this. But all right, we're gonna go ahead and name this one Wade after Lily is Wade. Lily, I know you wanted an animal named Lily, uh, but we have a mallard duck here who's a male, so maybe the name Wade is okay for now. Phew, all right, they're all taken care of. How much money are we pulling in from this? This is ridiculous. I bet if we educate people about the wonders of the Canadian goose, we'll have even more money. So let's go ahead and grab ourselves some education stations. I like that we're telling everybody to like be quiet. I should probably change one of these to like the sign to say um, like don't feed the animals because we're right next to the picnic area. And yeah, their stress has totally gone down. I think it was just this particular line of people were exceptionally noisy. Uh, all right, so let's actually make sure we like what is going on over here? You know what if the geese are gonna be this popular Maybe we'll set up a little zone here and we'll sell some things that we'll just call like the goose roost uh, Oh, and we can put in like oh, maybe we could put in one of the the um, Exhibits the small exhibits over here. I was gonna do a couple over here as well But that might be really nice the goose roost. What would be in the goose roost? Like what are we selling right now? We have hot dogs, coffee, gulpy, and donuts. Um, so what are our customers, or excuse me, <clears throat> our wonderful guests, what are their needs the most? Education! What they need the most is education! <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, let's see. Animal welfare, staff happiness, guest needs. How's energy? Energy is pretty good on everybody. Hunger? Okay, people are getting a little peckish you might say <gasps> we should have a little picnic spot that we call like the peckish plaza oh but people are really more thirsty than anything okay so if people are more thirsty than anything um maybe we'll make like a peckish picnic plaza that we can build out over here where people can also sit down let's see i wish the lighting would change i know i complain about that a lot but it's just really weird to me how the lighting doesn't change at all in sandbox mode uh, let's see. So, if we are going to go ahead and add in some nice drink stalls, let's check out if we have anything. We have a lodge shop. Okay, the lodge shop kind of looks amazing, I'm not going to lie. But it, we already have the picnic plaza close by, so we don't need something this big. There's also the Arctic coffee shop. I was trying to go for something like a little more New Worldy. Here's the Flamingo Cafe. I mean, how many shops do you have inside you, Flamingo Cafe? Actually, this is really cute. This might work. It has a restroom. It has a coffee shop and a Missy Good Donut spot. Hmm. This is a pretty big... Because I don't want to go heavy on just the logs. I also want to have a touch of kind of like new age uh, architecture in here as well to sh sort of blend the past and the present together. We'll give that one a little star and come back to it. Then there's fantasy. Oh my gosh! Fantasy land! It's covered in moss! How have I not seen you before? You are amazing! Oh my word! It has, let's see, a little restroom hidden away on the inside. I think it also has like a small exhibit. Oh my gosh, look at this. You've also got a couple drink stalls. Oh my word. How could you not fall in love with that? I kind of love it. I kind of want to put it like a little fantasy zone, like way back here. What? What? It's covered in moss. How could you not fall for that? And we could do like a little looping trail where we put a whole bunch of trees, maybe some lights, uh, little paths that like have tiny little nooks where you could stumble upon exhibit animals, or maybe even another little tiny exhibit where we could move just like a couple mere or not meerkats, a couple chipmunks. Oh, we could add marmots <gasps> and foxes over here. Oh, you guys. Okay, so this is going to be like the fantasy land and we're going to build our way out towards it. Look at how beautiful this is. There's so many pieces of wisteria. I would love coming here. This is going to be the most Instagrammable spot in the entire park. I can, I'm calling it now. I can just feel the truth of that statement. All right, let's see if we can make sure that we get it just right. So that things are actually on the ground. Okay, please tell me this is good. All right, I needed to go a little lower. Curses. Ah, it's always tricky to put these things down. All right, come here, Fantasyland. You get a heart too. 
I'm so excited because we can put in the fox exhibit that I have. I have red foxes now. Oh, this is so beautiful. I want to be able to look at it. So I think we're actually going to put it in backwards. <laughs> because otherwise... Um, no, don't go there. <laughs> otherwise, I can't actually see it because the light doesn't change. So yeah, we're going to put it in backwards. And then have people like walk their way to this beautiful fantasy zone. Very happy about that. Here we go. Let's see. I need up just a little more, I think. Oh, look at that well. I am so going to copy that well and put it in. Oh, that's glorious. The details everybody has put into this. All right, let's see. Is this going to be low enough? I think I need to go a little lower. A little bit lower, good. Is that good? All right, I'm like getting in on the micrometers on the grass to make sure. I think just a touch more, just a touch. Oh, there's petals that fall on the inside. Oh, it's glorious. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, hopefully this will be good. All right, how's this look? How's this look for pathing? Is it still a raised pathing? Because I don't think we have curb on ground. So does that count as curb on ground path? Yes! Okay, good, good, good. We did it. We managed to make the fantasy path like area exactly where it needed to be. Facility is without power. And somehow, even though people added in like these, we missed a spot. All right, well, let's go ahead and move this. As not cute as it is, moving it straight up against the building will help out there. And then we're going to move this to make sure it covers everything. There. All right. Now the radius is properly covered. Look at this glorious, beautiful thing. I am so in love with this. Oh my gosh. Forget what I was saying about like new world architecture. This is how we're gonna do it. We are going to go like over the top. We're gonna add in all sorts of moss roofs. We are gonna put in so many beautiful plants. I am so tickled and happy with this. We need to name this, you know what? I'm gonna name this, this entire architecture, this whole structure, this gigantic mammoth group of amazing objects. Uh, is it separated now? Ooh, nice. Okay. Well, we're going to name this like whole gigantic structure or the work zone of it. That's how we'll do it. We're going to name it after one of the most dedicated members of our community and one of the most amazing admins I've ever had the like joy of working with, my friend Jack. This is going to be Jack's Fantasy Cottage. And I am very happy about that. No, Zoe, don't inbreed with your dad. Somebody, darter, there. All right, we might need to start like working on the buffalo area in just a little bit here, too um, But I definitely have been distracted by a beautiful leafy fantasy. Oh, I'm so in love with that All right, let's see if we can get the inside prepped What should the inside look like? This is a very pretty wooden path All right, shrink that path down. How many buildings do we have to work with here? Okay, so we've got restrooms here We've got an exhibit area there. We have like a path. People could come out through this door here. So maybe I am going to make that happen and just say that people can like go through the door. There we go. Very nice, very nice. We can always change like if these paths have, um, if these paths end up having cur curbs and things like that in the near future. So then we have a, rest a restaurant, and we have a gulpy shop. We might change those. Do we have anything over here? We do not. We might put something at the end of the hallway in a little bit. All right, let's connect these however we can without ruining our little fantasy hallway. All right, come on. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, we got it. Yes. <laughs> All right, and then I think we can actually go ahead and like head out this door too because that would definitely be super helpful. And then we can go straight down. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so happy right now. <gasps> Yay, all right, we can pop out here and then we can like have a little fox hiding over here or some little animal that like lives in a little garden. Yes, that's gonna be amazing. 
All right, now I need to figure out, there we go, how to get all of this happily connected with itself. There, phew. Okay, pathing can be such a huge headache. I will accept that massive chaos. Um, and then I kind of feel like we could put, how about like an education station or something down here? I'm not exactly sure what, but we're gonna go ahead and put some path down and we'll work on that in a little bit. Oh, this is cute. Man, I wish I could make the path like nice and even down the center. Maybe I can? Oh, I really hope that the undo button will work if I regret that. All right, width. Let's try. Okay, remove that. Okay, width 20. Nope, 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 nope. Just come straight to me. Straight to me. Come on, you can do it. You can do it, little path. Here, oh, maybe if we start back here. All right, get back, get back. Everybody get away! Get away! <laughs> All right, pathing in this game so hard. You know what, we're not gonna worry about it. People can walk. They're gonna be able to make it work. There, it's gonna work. We're just gonna leave this like this. All right, meanwhile, our bison are apparently having like copious amounts of babies, which is kind of amazing. Uh, and I think we're gonna change this to a tree bark path. And we'll keep it a little bit smaller for now, because the idea is that you're supposed to like meander and wander through the woods, and then you find your way here, which I like. All right, and we'll make the meandering. We're gonna make the woods, but we're gonna make like very meandering. Lots of spots where we could potentially add in like a little pond. We could add in some extra habitats that people could find. There we go. We'll do a little dirt path and make a cute little garden over here. No, Bailey, the Eastern Chipmunk's about to die too. <gasps> no. And then I think maybe we'll have like two paths. So we could have one path that people will eventually be able to like meander their way from over here. And I really want it to be like winding between the gigantic redwoods before you can find your way there. And then we'll have another path that's a little bit more direct and maybe a little larger. Yeah, we'll make it nice and big. Yeah, like right here. Oh, look at that, that's so cool, I love it. We have a little secret cottage in the making. Oh my gosh, all right, and then here we go. Gigantic cedar trees. Oh, and we could make these some of the, um, we could totally make some of these cedar trees into secure trees as well. And I think I want some of the smaller cedars, like to kind of sprinkle about. Yeah, here we go. And then you find your way right over here to where meandering between all of the cedars, you're gonna find yourself in a fantasy. I love it. Let's see. Yeah, giant red cedar, giant red cedar. A little bit of variation on some of the sizes. And then dangerous, oh no! And now our buffalo are starting to fight because we have had some of the males actually age up. All right, we'll have to take care of that in just a, se in just a second. But here we go. Um, there we go. All right, and then maybe, what are the other little ones I have? Little cedars. Oh, and now an animal has escaped. What do you want to bet it's a goose, friends? I have a feeling there's a goose on the loose again. <laughs> oh dear, all right, I'll have to like tear myself. Oh my good word, are you people all running from a goose? Oh no, they're not running from a goose. I'd run too. What? How did that happen? Tyler, what the heck? <laughs> okay, that was actually a real emergency. Uh, we should probably take care of these things. But alright guys, thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. If you guys could, do please leave a like for our Pebble Collector uh, Shotgunist, who is actually like catching and replacing a bison, which I think is way above the pay grade of somebody who mostly collects pebbles. And if you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye